actual good horror okay. film to watch with fourth wall breaking tendencies. May I suggest Unfriended? You just suggested Unfriended over Scream. Unfriended, you just recommended me 2014's Unfriended over Scream. We think alike. This we think alike. People don't belong on this earth. <laughs> I can definitely agree with you. Alright, let's check it out. I feel like this dude hates cinema right here. Hey you, wanna hear a joke? Who's the best, loves to watch, but cringes at everything I do? My subscribers. <laughs> Here's another one. What's funny, stupid to react to, and makes you... Oh no, you didn't. Answer? These videos. What is up, Master Reactors? Welcome back to a new video. I know a lot of people aren't going to really click on this because it's not one of those special channels, but I thought this would be a nice reaction. Today, we're back with another 3C Films reaction, and today we're going to be reacting to... Reacting, we're going to be reacting to his reactions to negative reviews, because the video is titled, Reacting to Negative Reviews on my of My Favorite Horror Movies. And so far, in the in, on the thumbnail, it has Scream, Child's Play 2, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Halloween. So, I guess those are some of his favorites. I thought this would be an interesting reaction, you know? Like, his, I, I, it's been a while since I've seen 3C Films um, on my channel, reacting to him. But, I, I want to react to him again. And I plan to react to some more videos from him another soon, another time. Probably his Jeepers Creepers Reborn review, is review, because I checked it out. It was, it was hilarious, and I can't wait to see it on the channel. It has, I haven't seen it yet ever since the first time I saw it, which was four months ago. I think it will be a nice little reaction. And, well, yeah, we can react to some more stuff from him. If you guys want, of course. I definitely will react to some more of him, if you guys want. Anyways, guys, um, I don't know what I'll say, except make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, and, yeah. Do all that stuff. But enough of me talking, let's get into... Reacting to negative reviews of my favorite horror movies from 3C Films, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here we go. Alright, you guys know here on this channel, I be clowning. But it's just so I don't see you frowning. Really? How you doing, Halloween heads out there? Happy Jersey. Spooky Mama Month out there to you. With the movie world being kind of dry out there lately for topics, I thought we got to spice Halloween. things up here and there. So today what I'm going to be doing is reading you negative reviews to some of my what favorite horror poster? movies. The films that I watch almost every year around the Spooky Mama Month. It's also films that I just really I know that feeling. watching that I can't understand someone out there leaving it negative reviews. Which is also why I went ahead and dressed up as Pennywise the Clown. Because... I'm gonna be acting like a clown and going against my ways of respecting others' opinions and just going, you can't give Nightmare on Elm Street half a st Are you even allowed to be on this earth? So be sure you guys are also living your opinions. <laughs> I get that feeling a lot with my movies. These people here. Like I said, these are just my personal favorites. My, I understand my, they're not, not my, the top my idea of best movies, movies of all time. Movies as well as don't be forgetting to hit that like button, okay? I dressed up as Pennywise for you. Do me that favor. All right, so for looking into the reviews of movies, I'm going to be using Letterboxd, Letterboxd here. This is a good website for hey, just guys regular people below. like Should I do this type of thing on my GC Studios channel? Movies. I, ain't gonna be I will do it if you guys want. Professional critic this reviews. Though, so I'm not going to do it this video to death. The cinematography wasn't on point. And if you really look oh, at the actors get out of the overall, here. this doesn't seem like... Oh my God, get out of here! Thank no, you. I want to read the reviews from the regular people out there. The same people who look at Ryan Gosling and Ryan Reynolds and think they're the exact same person. Them are I the don't see that. I like see more uh, Chris so Pratt and the other guy from okay, We Can Be Heroes looking the like. So a classic modern day Freddy Krueger. I need to watch that. I plan to watch it sometime. I don't know Zahara if it's going to be this Halloween, but I'm going to watch it one Halloween exactly. for you guys. I think it's the first movie it. of Johnny Depp. The movie is 35 years ago, and because of that, it was not a horror, and it has bad visual effects. That's, it is also um, have bad, bad type, editing. Typing. You also have bad grammar. See? What does she mean, 35 years ago, and because of that, it's not a horror movie? You know what, I can't blame her. With 2020, 
nothing looks like a horror movie anymore here, but you know what? That's visual true. effects, I can't was agree with you there, years. Zohari. The Nightmare on Elm Street movies were pioneered off great practical effects right here. They literally turned a room into this gyroscope cube that Freddy Krueger stretching his arms out like Mr. Really? Fantastic. I just can't agree with you there. We have River Rogers going ahead and saying, mm, I don't even know what to say for this one. The song during the credits was a banger, though. Okay, yeah, I'll agree with you there. I'm also, the that. girl on the poster looks nothing like the main character, and the monster doesn't look like Freddy. Wait, really? Let me see that. Let me, let me. That's a check. Oh my god. Oh lord. Yeah, that monster looks nothing like Freddy. Why am I just noticing this after years of loving this movie? That is not Nancy. You never knew? That is not Freddy. Well, I never knew, but you never knew. My whole life is a lie. Am I gonna start hating Nightmare on Elm Street? Oh! I gotta move on to the next movie before they start convincing me here. Yes! Okay, probably in the top two sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta go to the next movie before you start movie. hating First it. First negative review off the bat here by Assad goes, Okay, I guess, but why don't they die? I think this is someone who was like, Yeah, I'll watch a Scream movie. There's like four of them. And they got a fifth one on the way. Let's check it out. They get to the end good. of the movie and they realize... How does Ghostface keep coming back? The one gets shot in the head, and the other one gets blasted by a TV. That's the brilliant scream, man. Killers can die, and new people come in. Question. Well, I don't blame them, because literally as a kid, I thought the same thing. How are there three movies, Mom? <laughs> Mr. Bernie here gives a half a star saying, I really wanted to like this movie after the Drew Barrymore scene, but this movie thinks it's so smart. The writers don't even get their sh straight. At one point, they reference a director, Wes Carpenter. It's not Wes Carpenter. It's John Carpenter. Idiots. Flew over don't your head, call, buddy, and that was intentional. Like, this person in the review was saying that the movie thinks it's so smart, but couldn't understand the satirical reference that the dumb blonde in the movie would get she the name wrong blonde. of an iconic director, John Carpenter. And I mean, like, did you even see who directed it? Wes Craven? It's... I don't like explaining references, man. Rest but funny indeed, enough, a review forever. like this is so common in the negative in section. Heaven. People do not like it when a movie tries to act smart. Like this person right here, a bad head gives it half a star, saying, horrifying this film is. Scream, I did not. Okay, clever. That's clever. Perhaps the crappiest, laziest for idea that. for a horror film conceptually since Saw 2004. I, okay, timeline-wise, don't know how this works. Yeah, that's about But all right. Intellectually, Ghostface is the Deadpool circuit for horror. There is no greater crime against the genre than the film's success. If you need an actual good horror really? film to watch with fourth wall breaking tendencies, may I suggest Unfriended? You Two just suggested Unfriended okay, over Scream. Unfriend. You just recommended me 2014's Unfriended over Scream. We think alike. This is we what I meant. Like. Some people don't belong on this earth. I gotta know what this is. I can definitely agree with you. Right here. Let's, let's, let's right, click on this profile out. right here. I feel like this dude hates cinema right here. He gave uncut <laughs> No, I gotta, check it. I gotta check these all out. If he says this dude hates cinema, we gotta check it out. Okay, so Batman vs. Superman, a half star. I need to check that out first. Uh, Joe Rogan, half a star. Scream, half a star. Eight Mile, half a star. Half a, half a star, half a star. Dang, this guy hate, does hate cinema. Lavor, five stars. What the heck is Lavor? Stort Little Three, Call of the Wild, two and a half. I don't think Stort Little Three was a good movie to most people. He gave it almost three stars. The Social Network. He gave The Social Network half a star. I haven't seen the movie at all, but I know that's a popular movie, so dang. This guy is bold. Uncut Gems, half a star. Lion King, half a... No, 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 no. You cannot give The Lion King half a star. That is so wrong. That is so wrong. How dare you? How dare you? Get off this planet, whoever you are, you witch. Um, clerk. Two, eight, two, two and a half stars, clerks, uh, I can't read what that is, uh, let, 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 let me just, uh, okay, so three stars for Spider-Man, three stars for Donny Darko, it's hard to read what clerks is, um, ah, right, there we go, alright, four stars for clerks, and Spider-Man three, three stars, three stars and a half, Spider-Man got three stars, why did that one get, what? This dude does hate cinema! You do hate cinema! 
If you ever tell me don't watch this movie, I'm not trusting you. I'm going to watch it on my own. Because you gave Spider-Man 3 a better rating than Spider-Man. Get off the planet now. Just get off it completely. Alright, now that we checked out why this guy hates what he hates about cinema, uh, let's just go back a little and then, you know, check it out. Some people don't belong on this earth. I gotta know what this guy's favorite movies are right here. Let's, let's, let's click on this profile right here. I'm feeling like this dude hates cinema right here. He gave I, Uncut I, Jack I, I'm with star, you. I'm with Network you. Social Network half a star. He gave Spider-Man 3 a better review than the original Spider-Man. Some people complex me. Thank you. Know you. One of the Thank you. Is discussing one of my favorite horror Child's movies. You gotta bring in a Child's movie. My favorite film Child's play on My scene, personal but... favorite of the franchise you know, is Child's movie. I have a different too. opinion. Now, this one, I can understand if people hate it, probably. but let's go ahead and read us here some reviews. One of the first reviews here by May, half a star, says, Was Chucky this sexiest in the first movie, too? You know what? Don't see how that's half a star because that statement is true. Chucky has never looked as good looking as he does in Child's Play. No, I don't agree with that. Scarface Chucky looks the best, in my opinion. That see, Chucky see the Chucky made you the worst? But it has the Scarface Chucky. Star. That's my favorite look. Liquid here giving it two stars. Not as funny as the first and much gorier. It's a horror movie, of course. Sweetheart, did you know you watched a horror movie? Ex exactly. <laughs> I don't think you were clicking on a comedy here. And I mean, okay, it's a little bit of a comedy. But this I is like a horror Kyle, movie. That's about of course, it's gonna have blood and gore. Surprisingly, a lot of the Not negative funny. reviews went ahead and added the comment of, you know what, the character of Kyle was cool. I would hang out with Kyle. Mm. It's all the more reason I'm happier that in the later movies they brought her back and supposedly showing up in the TV series. Oh, she does so show made a good up choice in the there, TV series. I guess if she wants some funny Chucky, it. check out Cedar Chucky. I, I think you'll enjoy that much better than this gory mess. Another two star <laughs> well, review, but it just says best part of the movie was Kyle's outfits. I think. Kyle was starting some sort of trend here for a lot of people. Phil Lord it. gives it one star saying, I love the plot that hinges on adults ignoring a child's supernatural experiences. It is the core of every R.L. Stein Goosebumps story and comes out as a lazy and frustrating. However, the real flaw in this is the way Chucky is always so gratering, shrill piece of... Wait a... Wait... I gotta look up what gradling means. Hey, what's his name? What is that? Okay. Sounding harsh and unpleasant. A high grading... Oh, no, I can understand. you disrespecting the I don't Chucky agree, but I don't, I can the understand. great iconic Brad Do We need a jam right now to some Chucky screams. That's the only way to fix this absurdity. Okay. Oh, let me dance. Again, another common theme okay, in these negative this reviews is people just hate the cliche of adults not believing a child when it tells them that their doll is I mean, alive and going after ago. people we'll like it wouldn't happen in real life. But I hate time. how people can't look at when this movie was made and realize that even at that time it was not a cliche yet. Of course, here in 2020, if they did that now, hella cliche would be so boring, so overdone, but... I think you gotta look at it through different lenses. Yeah, Next movie yeah, here, let's go with the yeah. theme of my album hey. and talk some Pennywise here. The 2017 hey, let's go. one. Negative reviews incoming. First one I see here. Half a star. The only reason teens are giving this a high rating is teen heartthrob Finn Wolfhard. Nope. The ironic part is right under that, oh, what we is have this? someone named I Hate <laughs> Finn Wolfhard. Well. Half a Debunk star. your theory. Finn Wolfhard is in your it. Your Finn theory has been proven wrong. Right Finn Wolfhard is not a heartthrob and the success of it. Someone else gives it half a star, says, Left during this pile of trash. Kids do not speak that way. Makes me miss Tim Curry's rendition of up, The Clown. No one ever speaks that way. I so disagree with that. One of the main reasons they do I now, though. love the new Modern generation. generation. What have you done to children? Is because of the way the kids interact and how they talk to each other. Because that is how me and my friends talk to each other in middle school and even really? elementary school kids for sure go ahead and curse at each other badmouth each other they actually got the dynamic down good so that wasn't me growing Oxus, up you grew up in the catholic it is. school you probably weren't talking like that with your friends and you know i don't blame you we have half a star here from casey who says up. men need to die faster well, Casey, actually here, if you google what you mean? men you mean? actually do die faster oh. so can we get a five star review now? <laughs> to our next movie here, since I guess we're going through some Halloween horror two. icons, I okay. gotta talk about my personal favorite Halloween right, I'm gonna be watching all the Halloween films this Halloween. Films, this Halloween from though. I'm gonna be reviewing all of them. Probably not hopefully, the best Halloween one out there, Halloween. but it's kind of my favorite because it's the first one I actually saw. First night ah, here, yeah, that's my feeling of Child's Play 2019. Yeah, that's my favorite. It's, the fir it's, really, it's kind of the first horror really movie I ever saw. Go check out the review. doesn't leave a lot of room to build, anyways, but the decision to continue immediately from where it left 
thought makes this feel like a super long, inconsequential third act. I see where you're coming from, I David. I can't talk yet, because well, I haven't seen Let me counter movie. with kind of hospital titties. Hospital titties. Wait, that's what I'm going to see when I see the movie? Debate. Now, even though this is a negative review, I actually completely agree with this one-star okay. review of Halloween 2. Going really? ahead with it here. Tuesday Weld says, Okay, so was I hallucinating or did the police run a teen over that burned him alive only to find out it wasn't Michael? They were like, oopsie, let's get back out there and search for the right dude. Excuse <laughs> me? What in the world? What's this kid's name? Wait, what? Where is his family? What is his story? They had me believing Michael was the antagonist of the film. But I argue it was the twelve. <laughs> You're not wrong there. That is still blowing my mind how we never <laughs> got the yeah, Halloween dude. sequel that was Halloween 3, the people of Haddonfield versus the police department. <sighs> that is so true that they went ahead and just accidentally killed a kid and were like, damn, sucks to suck, but like, the real Michael's still out there and we're just gonna <laughs> let this accidental <laughs> thing I can't wait to see that but one that if you movie. Just some negative reviews to some Aww, that's it. I watch around this time. Okay. Maybe I can do this again for different themes here. I could do the opposite and look at positive reviews for the horror movies I hate. I don't know. You guys Ooh. throw your suggestions down below yes, if you want please. me to continue this series and do other films. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had a lot of fun making this video. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Subscribe if you want more movie related content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. But okay. as always, I'm Pennywise, the Kiss Me Fat Boy Clown. Take care. No, I'm not gonna say bye. No, I'm not gonna say bye because he said no. Anyways, guys, that was reacting to negative reviews of my favorite horror movies from 3C Films, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I honestly can't say if I agree with him or not on most of them because most of them I did not see. It was a nice video though, those. Uh, but I think the main thing that came out of it, well, I'll talk about that when I'm done talking about it. Uh, but, um, that was. That was interesting, that was interesting. That was horror movie reviews and some stuff to horror movies we haven't seen yet that I'm going to be watching sometime. I can't wait to see, I think, I can't wait to see that scene for Halloween. That's going to be so fun to see in Halloween 2 when I'm watching it this Halloween. That's going to be fun to see. And I can, I can understand where some people are coming from with those negative, with those reviews for some of them. But, I think, I think, every, I think, I just think at the end of the day everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And well, it's their it's their choice. We can't we can't force them. I will say this though, I think the main thing that came out of this video for sure is that we find we figured out a guy that ha just hates cinema because those ratings, man, get off this earth. I cannot be with you. I can't be your buddy. Anyways, guys, that was the video. What did you guys think about it? Leave a comment down below. Um. Let me know about like, the movies that he was talking about. What? Do you hate it? Do you not? Leave a positive or negative review. Your choice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys liked it, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell. Click on one of the videos on the two screen. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.